Hello and welcome to FE News. We bring to you all the latest happenings and celebrities visiting at the Film Fest. Now, top happenings at IFI. Young Indian filmmakers and directors of Offbit or New Wave films have pitched in for creating special theatres for showing their films. Addressing a joint press conference in the Meet the Directors Indian Feature and Non-Feature Films section at the 43rd FE in Panji on Sunday, they felt that there are dedicated viewers for their films, but in the absence of a proper distribution mechanism, the films are not been released in multiplexes. The film is based on a novel by the well-known Gyan Peet award-winning uh, Punjabi writer Gurdjahal Singh. Uh, the film is uh, basically, you know, it's, uh, it, talks of the state, it talks about the status of the Dalits in Punjab and uh, it talks about uh, urban-rural conflict, urban-rural relationship, my, the issue of migration, the issue of landless labour. And it talks about the angst of the so-called lower, lower caste. It's nice to be in Goa, a festival I visited many times as a film, film student at FTI. And to be showing my film here is a great pleasure and honor. I was documenting the folk ballads of Punjab. And most of the performers came from that kind, that class. So, yeah, so those characters from the novel kind of uh, started becoming a life for me. And uh, after working in documentaries for a few years, I realized, you know, I had to... Uh, I felt a deep compulsion, I would say, to work in fiction. The title of my film is Char, The No Man's Island. The story takes place in the border between India and Bangladesh. And if you go back to 1947, when India was partitioned, at that point where it was East Pakistan and India, the river, a river, River Ganga, was taken as the reference, fixed as the border. Now, you can fix a border, but you cannot fix a river. The river keeps moving. So there is a huge lot of confusion and dislocation. And on top of that, India built a huge dam, a barrage at Farakka to control the water, to manage the water of this big river, Ganga. So the river, you know, changed its nature and it changed the whole landscape. And it is also in the film I'm trying to, you know, just, it's not just a portrait of a smuggler boy. But it's the question, what kind of balance we, we should strike with the nature which is more powerful, which is very powerful in fact, and our knowledge, our, our, our civilization, our technology. So I'm taking these questions in this film. This is an international co-production between uh, NHK Japan and Rai <laughs> Television of Italy. Mine is a very pretty simple narrative, straight narrative. I love if you look at it much. And uh, it's more on the emotional quotient and it builds up to a point where, you know, you round up the whole story and, and it's like a to know what happens, a man's journey to know what happens to his daughter. So, uh, in that way, yeah, people connect to it and it, uh, definitely it is there. But uh, on the flip side, what uh, I would say, there's a lot of people who said that uh, Mira as a character has never, never developed much in that film, and which is a, I mean, a gap I have. Question for the day is a special segment where we ask delegates and guests present at IFI 2012 their opinion on a particular topic related to the film festival and Goa. The latest question we put forward was name your best film from the 100 years of Indian cinema. Here is what some of the delegates and guests had to say. A lot of films but you have to choose one. I'll say Satya because uh, you know it bought gangster flicks something, something different. A lot of innovation was there in the film. Different, you know, Ram Gopal Verma really has really changed after that. Though right now he's not making good films, but still, that film changed the face of gang. How people perceive gangster flicks in India. So I'll say Satya, according to me. In last hundred years, my favorite movie would be Lagan. What else? Why is this? Uh, it is a period film which is very, very, very interesting, and जो देश भक्ति का वो रहता ना that it, it shows that okay. and uh, yeah deadly combination of cricket and uh, patriot. patriot for every parent should see the movie like you can say Tari Zamin Pe that also you have the talent and all just because I am a parent so I have the feeling for that that's it Guru Dutt ki film mein maine kaagas ka phool dekha to mein thodi 
जरा झंझनाई थी कि कितना खूबसूरत मीडिया है राज कपूर का आवारा देखा था तो मुझे वो बहुत मॉडर्न कंसेप्शन में लगते थे जैसे हम इंग्लिश फिल्में देखते थे और मुझे राज कपूर की फिल्में बहुत नियरेस्ट लगती थी उनकी स्टोरी नरगिस जी का काम बहुत स्टाइलिश लगता था चांदनी बाग मधुर भंडार करका वाई कॉम इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट एक स्त्री अभी भी जो हम कॉन्स्टेंट रेप रेप हमारे चाचा हमारे भाई हमारे बाप जो कलयुग की जो शुरुआत है ना वो हमारे बाप दादा कहते कि कलयुग में ऐसा होगा उस ज़माने में जब हमें मालूम ही नहीं था कि रेप क्या चीज़ है लेकिन हम कॉमन बन गए हैं अब दिल्ली के तो हर पंद्रह दिन में एक लड़की को उठा के ले गए एक लड़की चांदनी बार में वो जो माँ है ना वो जो सीन था वो किसी भी माँ को हिला दे कि मजबूरी एक बच्चे के लिए एक माँ जब ऐसा बोलती चलेगा कितना मुझे जब भी वो सीन याद करती हूँ एज ए ह्यूमन बींग एज ए मदर एक एक्ट्रेस कहीं नहीं होती है सिर्फ एक औरत होती है जो इतनी मुझे तकलीफ देती कि हमारे हिंदुस्तान में ये फिल्म हर औरत को नहीं है हर मर्द को देखनी चाहिए अमंग ऑल दोज फिल्म आई हैव सीन आई हैव सीन ऑल द फिल्म I have to watch. Or yeah, but recently this film called Burfi. I mean, everybody knows about it, and uh, I mean, I was so moved by it. And we, they're showcasing it here for uh, as a as a tribute to 100 years of cinema. So I would obviously ask everyone to go and watch Burfi. Mukhtar's latest Marathi film, Samhita, directed by award-winning duo of Sumitra Bhave and Sushil Suktankar, has been selected by the IFI in the Indian Panorama section. The film was screened on November 24th at IFI. Samhita is about an ailing producer who wants his wife to produce a film on his favorite story. Samhita is a complex story of relationships. In Samhita, you have a film director writing a script for her film um, based on a story from the pre-independence era. The story is uh, <coughs> happening in a princely state. So you have a king and a queen and a court singer. Um, a very different kind of a milieu, very different kind of relationships uh, in the story. And um, here is a person living today a different kind of a life. She is living in Bombay and she is writing, while writing the script, uh, the film is about how the story affects her personal life today and how her personal life of today affects the writing of the story. Since we show two different periods in the film. To show these two different eras, uh, we have shot the older period in Super 35mm on film and the contemporary, the modern era, we have shot in digital. So we use these two technologies and brought them together in one screen. I almost like kind of have a double role in the film where I'm playing the filmmaker as well as uh, the queen of past times. Uh, for me, this was a challenge as I had to play two different roles and uh, we uh, tried to uh, make a total difference between the two roles. Like the queen is, uh, she is draped differently, she uh, has different mannerisms, the dialogue delivery was changed and same was, uh, the, and that was also different for the filmmaker uh, who is of modern times and who uh, is coping with the fast life, with her stressed relationship. So that was a challenge for me, playing two different roles in the film. For everyone, two roles we got to play. And one role was because it was the pre-independence era, which was a country, which they call it in Marathi. तो मतलब एक रॉयल बैक फैमिली उनका बैकग्राउंड और दूसरी तरफ आज की उसमें मतलब आज की किसी सदी में जो लोग हम लोग जो हैं वो दूसरा कैरेक्टर और मैं लेकिन का का कैरेक्टर इसमें प्ले कर रही थी तो जब पूरा जो प्रोसेस था वो इसीलिए मजेदार लगता था कि वही एक 
एक औरत या एक एक्टर मैं अपने एक तरह से कहूँगी कि एक एक्टर के लिए एक ही समय में एक ही चीज़ को दो तरह से देखने का मौका मिल मिला इसमें क्योंकि अदरवाइज तो ये होता है कि एक कैरेक्टर को आप डेवलप करते जाते हैं और एक किसी मतलब जो एक गिवन उसके अंदर डिज़ाइन के अंदर आपको किसी एक मौके पर पहुंचना है लेकिन यहाँ पर हमें क्योंकि दो थे और दोनों अलग अलग एक ही चीज़ को शायद देखते थे लेकिन उनका सारा जो जो यात्रा थी वो बिल्कुल अलग थी एंड दैट वॉज द चैलेंज एंड दैट इज वॉट वी रियली एंजॉय आई पर्सनली एंजॉय इट Indian film critic Rajiv Masin gets up close and personal with our reporter Rohit Wadkar and Omkar Fari. He appreciated the efforts in making a fiat Goa successful since it was not even 10 years old. since the international film festival of india moved to goa i think that there's been a very concentrated effort to make it a very wholesome experience um i mean goa is a great setting to base the the festival uh, of course it's been inspired by the can film festival which also happens by the seaside and i think that while we may not have reached there quite yet uh, we don't pull off a festival that's as good as can um but we have to understand that this is a much newer festival um this is a you know since the time the festival's come to goa it's it's, it's not been very many years it's been less than 10 years if i'm not mistaken and i think for that given given that I, I think we do a very good job and I think that the selection of films has improved considerably I think the kind of guests that they get is also uh, um, remarkable I mean there are some very important filmmakers uh, actors from across the world who come which is a, which is always you know pointing in the direction which which always sort of tells you that um that that the festival has become significant on the sort of global festival map so I actually think that uh, the International Film Festival of India is a, is a very important calendar event for film lovers because it's a great place to catch up with the best of Indian films and films from abroad which you will not necessarily get to see theatrically i think we're celebrating the 100 years of indian cinema this year which is um, a great time and it's a great occasion it's also an important occasion to sort of look and see how we're going ahead it's a time to not just look backwards but also to look ahead we're heading for a short break stay tuned